life is divided into four major phases. This is a digression, but let me help you understand. If you understand this, you will wake up right now and you will know that time waits for no one. Everybody writes, your life is divided into four phases. There is the morning phase of your life. There is the afternoon phase of your life. There is the evening phase of your life. And there is the night phase of your life. The first 25 years of your life constitute the morning phase of your life. The second 25 years of your life constitutes the afternoon phase of your life. God is challenging somebody. God is whipping childishness out of somebody with this word. The, the third 25 years from 51 to what now? 75 constitutes the evening phase of your life. Everything afterwards constitute the night phase. Please look up and let me explain to you. The Bible says, so teach us to number our days that we may apply our heart unto wisdom. Listen. It is expected by God that at the maximum of 25 years, let me challenge you, Koinonia, that at 25 years, some things should have happened in your life. Are you getting my point? At 25 you should be born again. You should have known the Lord. You should have been filled with the Holy Spirit. And you would have understood the principles of the kingdom. That means if you are after or over 25, you, are, you have entered the second season of your life already. And that means you must catch up. Listen please. God is speaking to somebody. There's too much childishness in the body of Christ. And we must kick it out by letting everyone know that what when you were mentioning future yesterday today was part of that future now that today has come that gentleman that came to give his testimony a bishop was reminding me i remember when he came post ume to imagine that he's rounded up service today i almost cannot believe it but that's the brevity of time many of you can still remember the day you carried your iron box and you were entering your secondary school look at you today don't ever let the devil make you feel there is time have you heard that word some of you may be 16 19 20 30 you are saying there is once you are 25 years old that's the learning phase of your life that's the time of your life you can make mistakes and go scot free are you getting my point after that time some things begin to cost you listen I'm teaching you this thing because some of us never had this opportunity. Are you getting my point now? Some of you just got old. How old are you? 34, 35. Are you born again? No. Feel the Holy Spirit? No. What do you know about life? Nothing. The second phase of your life, listen, is the phase where you begin to make quality investments for your destiny. Where you begin to put to use what you have learned in the first 25 years of your life. Now, if you catch up, it's an advantage. 25 years. Maximum of 25. Once you are at 25, and some God is speaking to you because many of us here are over 25. You are just looking, playing around, smiling around. Somebody who is 15 years is playing. You are joining to play with the person. You are 10 years um, behind Shedu. The lady is sleeping around, doing every kind of thing. You two are 25, sleeping around, believing that I will get husband one day. Ladies, listen, let me challenge you this night. Whether you believe it or not, ladies, hear me. I want to talk to you right now. And I want to talk to you from the depths of my heart. Listen to me. A day will come in your life when the men around your age group would have been married. Are you getting my point? That means the earlier you become a virtuous lady and position yourself, the better. I'm not scaring you. I'm only telling you the truth. Hallelujah. At age 40, the probability to share God to make any marital decision is almost zero. Is that true? There are some of us who just live carelessly. Honestly, I'm preaching from the depths of my heart. God is telling somebody, wake up. You have all kinds of rows of 
boyfriends and people around one for monday one for tuesday continue the bible says do not be deceived god cannot be mocked you are sowing you will enter the next phase of your life and turn back and say why is my life like this and god says it's in my law do not be deceived god cannot be mocked hallelujah many of you who are a lot younger you have a big opportunity stop saying i'm a child in nigeria what's the age for adulthood 18 years right many people are more than 18 years here. so what makes you think and there are two words that have made the youth in nigeria it has cheated the youth in nigeria one is adolescence two is young adults kick those words out of your life if you are if you are an adult you are an adult you are sleeping around and calling yourself a child. They say, I, I'm adolescent. What does that mean? So you can play around. Let me tell you, stop dreaming. If you are an adult, an adult is one who is not a child. Simple. Financial dominion. There are sisters playing around with their opportunities, playing around with the youthfulness of their lives. I'm not saying just jump around and say yes to anybody, but what are you doing? You are not positioning yourself. You are there gossiping about people. Just You have 20 toasters. Keep watching. Keep watching as the toasters marry. And you'll find out at a point that it will be Ichabod, the glory. It, it's not that God calls you. That's how life works. And brothers, don't think I will not come to you. Because there are many of you. Let me tell you something. You should have no business looking at any lady if you have not looked at your life. Any lady that passes around, you are just laughing. Can, can we be friends? I, let's just go out. What to wear? To wear? Time is going. The morning phase of your life is going. I'm challenging you in this place. There are some, it's as if you will die. Who is with you? Many brothers, you can't see a sister pass. She's fine, so walk quickly. Walk quickly. Don't let any brother just come to you. Somebody whose destiny is confused. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Just comes around and twisting his tongue around you. I, I think um, we, should, we should get along. Along where? All kinds of relationships that don't make sense. Relationships like occultism, like secret society. The people are moving, no vision. They are not going anywhere. They know they are not going to get married. They, they never talk about their future. They are always playing around, playing games. Do you know the hurtful thing, sister? Let me encourage you. That brother can dump you and ask another lady out the next day. But you, it can't be like that for you. time to be serious it's time to be serious tell yourself wake up tell yourself wake up the bible says arise thou that sleepest and christ shall give thee light financial intelligence how did i get into relationship hallelujah the second is financial planning so financial intelligence talks of all the knowledge and the information. I was talking about four phases of our lives. Morning phase, the learning state. Afternoon phase, the investment state. Between 25 to 50 years, according to the word of God and according to the principles of God, that's the time for you to have built a house. That's the time for you to have raised and trained your children. Are you getting my point? That's the time for you to have done certain structural things around your life. The evening stage of your life is the time of resting and legacy. That's when you should be resting. That's the time you should turn back and start writing books. Have a foundation that is blessing and building others. There are many of our parents, 70 years, they are struggling, even fighting with us. The land is my own. The son says, I paid you 10 years ago. I can't remember. And it shouldn't be. 
Brothers and sisters, wake up. Wake up. There are some of us here. The truth is God has been faithful. Some of our parents have trusted us with lots of money, lots of things. We are there playing around, doing all kinds of things. Tonight, I'm not condemning you. But I'm saying for the first time, brother, can you just tell my, yourself, where am I going? The Bible says, when the prodigal son came to himself, nobody conducted deliverance. You can come to yourself. And tonight, God is asking somebody to come to himself. Tell yourself, wake up. Say it, wake up. So financial planning. It's often said that he who fails to plan has planned to fail. You must know how to plan your resources. Plan your resources. Hallelujah. Plan your resources. Structure your life. 